does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. We are back again today for another Bower Family Learns. I'm here today <coughs> with my five-year-old son, Luke. Hi. And my eight-year-old son, Sean. Hello. And today, we're very excited to be trying out the new Monopoly Dice Roll to Own It All. And so we are going to be playing this, and we're going to be trying to be the first person to get to 15,000 points. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set this hotel die off to the side. You will only get to roll this if you press your luck, which we'll talk a little bit about later. So you're going to roll the rest of the dice and roll them over here so everybody can see them, all right? Take all that big handful of dice and roll them right over here. I know, it's a lot. Uh, uh, it's a lot of dice over here. Why do they and have a, a lot of dice? Because people like rolling a lot of dice. Roll them up though, buddy. Yeah. All right, so first thing we're going to do is if you have any police officers, which look like this, we set them right into these three slots. So you're lucky you don't. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set aside any blanks. You will not use those. And we're going to mark that you actually got one of these. This means you passed go, and you're going to score 200 points if you decide to stop before you get three police officers. Because at any point when you roll the dice, if you get three police officers, you lose all your points, every single one of them, from this turn, not from previous turns. So now what you have to decide, Luke, is which of these do you want to save? And what you're trying to do is fill in all of them. So right now, uh, you have two trains, and you're, tr if you and you're trying to get all four trains. If you can get all four trains, then you get 2,500 points. It's a lot of points. Just like this. If you get the second blue die here, you're going to get 3,500 points, which is a lot of points. Well, I do have this. Well, that's a light blue. You need three light blues to do that. <gasps> So, yeah, you have two purples, so you're pretty close to the purple. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to place out any of these dice that you want to, be knowing that you're going to get to roll again, most likely, to try and complete it. So if you took these two, you'd essentially be trying to get one more so you can get 1,500 points. And if you can get all three of a color, not including the trains or these two, you're going to get to start rolling this die, which is going to score you a bunch of points, potentially. Because you can get these, which are worth 1,000 points at the end of your turn. So, which one of these do you want to try and go for? You're going for the trains? All right. Now, you can go for more than one if you would like. Do you want to just go for trains, or do you want to go for something else? Just over trains. Okay, so you roll these all the dice over again. Here, you hope to see trains. Roll them right here. Yeah, two trains. All right, roll them up. Set them down. All right. So, ooh, this is very lucky. So first thing, you pass go again. So you're gonna get another little check mark there. That means that's 200 points. You didn't get another police officer. Holy guacamole! You're super lucky. And you got what's called a wild. So this symbol means you can place that anywhere on the board. But once you place it, it cannot be moved. Just like these trains, they cannot be moved until after your turn. So another thing to note is that you have one of the cheaper ones. So you have this 50 right here. If you were to put this right here and keep going, that would mean you'd get to roll this dice. Something to think about. Or you could use this to hopefully complete your trains. Or, if you really wanted to, you could complete this, but that wouldn't make much sense because that one won't let you roll the house die. Ah, uh, ooh, so are they going the brown? Match the color? All right, so this is big. Now, I'm going to... Do you want to save anything else? No. All right, so as soon as you put those two in there, you have immediately unlocked this dice, all right? Yes. Now, Luke, you have a choice. You could stop right now, and if you stop, you are going to get... 600 points, and when you stop, you also get to complete one set that's not done yet. So let's just, so this isn't done yet, right? You don't have all four trains, but you could still score 200, 400 points right here. Just like if you had this right here, uh, you could score 100 points, but you could not score both these. So do you want to stop with your 1,000 points, or do you want to keep going? Because once again, you don't have any police officers. Stop. Are you sure you don't have any police officers, so it's highly unlikely you'll roll them all? Can I just roll this one? No, you have to roll all of them. I, I think you're pretty safe, though, buddy, but it's up to you. Yeah, I'm doing this stuff. All right, Luke is playing very conservative, so he gets 600 points for this, and you're going to complete, you're going to get the points for this uncompleted set, so that's an extra 400 points. So that's up to 1,000, plus you cross go two times, so you scored 1,000 
400 points on that turn. Oh, yay! Which means right now you're in first place. So for Sean's turn, all these go to the side. And Sean's going to roll the dice now. Once again, roll it right around here, okay? And remember, 15,000 points wins the game. So Luke, I will say, all honesty, I think you might want to push it a little bit further. You rolled twice and you got no police officers. The chances of you getting three in one go, not so high. Any police officers? So yeah, you got one. He immediately goes in there. He's locked in place. You cannot move him for any reason except, or actually on this die, there's one get out of jail free spot. But that's a hard one to get. Now, you have the same thing. You, oh boy. You have a really good possibility. Would you like me to help you with your turn or do you just want to try and figure it out yourself right now? Sean, this is generally where you talk. Uh, I, wanna, I want you to help me. All right. So I would say the obvious choice you have right now is to complete this. Because that's going to get you 1,800 points, which once again, your brother got 1,400 points. And if you push your luck, which you don't have to, you get to roll the house die, which might start scoring you bonus points. It could even get rid of this police officer. You can pay him off. I think that's how it works thematically. <laughs> Uh, so, do you want to save anything else? Because here's the bottom line. By saving it, you're essentially going to get that number of points. So, what are you thinking, buddy? You're going to go for red? Yeah, I'm saving it. All right. So, that one goes up here. Once it's locked in, it's locked in place. And also, if you ever want to check to see, if, make sure there's other red, red on here, you can totally do that. Uh, which it looks like, oh, there's no other reds on here. You might not want to save that one. Okay. Now that I look at it, it looks like there's a pink, pink. And that's it says it in the rules that you can always look at the dice to see, you know, uh, kind of what you want to do. Mm, I don't want to save. You're not going to save anything? You're just going to see what the next roll is? All right. So I unlock this? You, you unlock that? You roll all those dice. Now, you remember, if you get two police officers, you score zero points. Ooh, so there's one. But you also got a house now on your property. That is worth 1,000 points if you stop. I mean, I have two police over, so I'm done. What I would highly recommend is saving one of these dice. Because remember, you always get to score one of your uncomplete sets. So you'll score for this completed set, but why not? Yeah, an extra 250 points. So let's see how many points you got here. You didn't cross go, so you don't get 200. Uh, 200. But you get, how much is it? 1,800 points plus 250, so 2,050 points plus 1,000, so you got 3,050 points on that turn. Very nice, Sean. All right, so. That's one below me, I think. Uh, no, he has actually doubled your score. Yeah. He is crushing you right now, which, once again, is why I recommend maybe not playing so passive next time. You kind of got to go for it. All right, what do we got? No police? No, two police. Get out of here, Popo. Oh, my gosh. But, oh, my goodness, your dad. Your dad has got a blue and a mystery one, which means that's going to score me 3,500 points. And you know what I'll do? I'll also put this right here, and I will stop right now because I have scored 3,500 points, plus I score for my incomplete setup here 400 points, and I just took the lead with 3,900 points with one very nice roll. All right. Dad taking the lead. Talk Luke's turn. Coming your, back. Talk about not pushing your luck, Dad. Well, I, I rolled once and I got more points than you by 850 and nearly three oh. times as many points as your brother. Why would I keep going? <laughs> Plus, I had two police officers. Uh, I would try one more time. Well, I want to win. And I believe that that was the best choice for me in my goal of winning. All right. One police officer, so put him right in there. Hey, man, you can't be doing that. And now, what would you like to save, Luke? It looks like you have one train. So trains are going to be kind of hard to get. You have one of these, which, you know, they're not the best. You do have two oranges, and you also have one brown, which those ones are pretty... And the brown ones are pretty common to get, I do believe. It's up to you. You're going to keep the two oranges? And I'm going to... Oh, two oranges. All right, so put them in place. Um, two. Two. All right, one right there. Right there. I actually like to cover the brown. That way you know how many points you'll get if you get it. I think it's just a little bit easier, but it's up to you. Oh, I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do it. So. All right. 
We know this was yellow. Yep, basically. we remember. And then I'm assuming you're going to keep going. Because right now, if you stopped, you would only get 200 points. Because you can't save two uncompleted ones. You can only save one. I'm going to give you that. You're going to keep going? All right, then roll these dice right here. Oh, oh, second police officer, but you also got, well, I'll let you play. That one's light blue, buddy. Yep. That is light blue. Those don't go there. Those dark need dark blue. blue. Light blue's right there. Yes. Oh, man. Ouch. I would say that there is really one move that kind of, that kind of, looks like a solid one you want let me let me fill you in on it so the first thing i would most definitely do is take this 50 because okay. if you do that you're going to get 600 points like that's bingo that's 600 points bingo. now uh are you planning on rolling again you have two police no okay so you what you probably want to do is probably just stop because you'll get 600 plus 400 for right here that's a thousand points uh yeah i'm going to stop yeah, and, and honestly, you know, some people might be like, you should push your luck, but you have two police officers. That's that's rough. That's rough. That one more one more police officer and you're in jail. Yup. Alright, Sean's turn. Let's go. He gave us I like this game. You guys like this game? Yeah. I think it's really it, you see why it kinda reminds me of zombie dice a little bit in that aspect? Oh yeah. Yeah. Alright, what you got, Sean? What you gonna get? Did you just get a house? That's cheating. Whoopsie. All right. Whoa, Whoa, man. Some choices to make. You got two doubles. Well, can I say what I was going to do? With oh. his roll? No, I just saw that he... All right, as long I as Sean do. can keep playing and do his turn. Yeah, yeah. Well, what I would do is... So that is 3,500 points. to and get... And use... Wait, no, I wouldn't do that. I would use these two. I think that's what and, your brother's thinking. In the wild? And, oh, man. Yeah. Which means you have unlocked this die. And you, you so you could stop that? right now with 4,500 points. Stop. But I'm going to guess you probably wouldn't because you have no police. Hey, Dad. This is going to be big points for your brother. What if you want so the Oh, my gosh. The cops are coming. And the house. So yes. this means that if you had a house, it would get destroyed and you would lose it. So things got real bad real fast. Yeah. For sure. But still, that's a lot of points. Not for us, right? No, things actually went really good for Sean still, too. Hey, Dad. Can I'm you done. try to figure out how many points you have, Sean? Uh, let's What's see. up, Luke? What happens if you take you still roll until all of these spots are full? You there's not enough dice for that. Yeah, man. That Did you figure cheating. out your points? Uh right, so that You talk out loud, so I know what your brain's yeah, thinking, buddy, because so, right now it's just dead air. So, 1,000... Yeah, you, you already said that, buddy. Three, plus 3,500... Remember, do the big one first. That makes it easier. Yeah, 3,500 plus 1,000 is... Is... Okay, okay. Sean, I'm just going to do it for you, because it's we're on camera. 4, I thought... 4,000... 500 and then 4,500 plus 400 is 4,800. Close. 4,900. But yes, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make sure you understood the rules in case you and your brother ever wanted to play this. Uh, and I'm not here. So you have just, you're up to 7,950. It's just I thought it would be a little bit quicker. Um, and that when I realized that, you know, on camera, we do things fast. All right. But yeah, you got it. But you understand the basic print scoring, which is just trying to get it, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, police. No, thank you. Hundreds? Oh, I broke out of jail. Too bad I didn't actually have a house, so I can't do that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> which one do I want to save? Do I have a wild over here? I got a wild. I got a red. Yeah, I'm going to save both. Bingo. Bongo. Bongo. 
You can do what I was gonna say. That's because you always say that stuff. You always say that stuff. Uh, any of that what I need? No, I hate you. Uh, You're on the roll again. Anything that I need? No, I still hate you, but I'm not getting police. There's the police. They're finally here. <laughs> nothing, nothing. So I could stop right now for 500 points, but I won't because eventually I'm going to get what I want. Eventually you don't need to do nothing. Are you kidding me? I, I'm going to double check because I know I have symbols on here, right? Yeah, there's a light blue. There's the there's two questions. Oh, I'm just I'm just rolling very poorly. You might get it out of police. No police, which means even though I should get these points, I don't get anything because I pressed my luck. Should have took my 500 points. But honestly, Sean's awesome turn made me like I gotta go gotta go hard for points. So Luke, roll it up. What you got right over here? Uh, you didn't up your. Oh no. Right. I don't get any points. You get three police. You get no points whatsoever. But I roll them up. You're sent to jail. Yep. You go to jail, direct for pass go, do not collect $200. All right. Oh, can you roll a little bit faster, buddy? In Thank you. Because all you got to do is pick them up and throw them down. I wonder what you're doing that's illegal in Monopoly. Uh, peeing outside. All right. <laughs> what you taking? Peeing <laughs> outside. <laughs> He's like, dude, I have warned you now three times. You are peeing right in front of a garden. <laughs> All right, so uh, are you going to take anything else? Me. You need... I'll push my little All right, roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Yes! That was finally what I was looking for. No, well, you got, so if you stop your turn right now, you get 500 bucks. If you keep going, you got a chance at 1,000 or maybe even 3,200 points, which is a lot. Or maybe even not. Going for it? Go, he's going for it. Maybe. Yeah. You didn't get anything that's going to help you. Or maybe even but getting you also caught get by the cops. Jagged in jail. What you thinking, Luke? What you thinking? Gonna keep anything or just roll it again? Keeping a train. <sighs> okay, roll the dice again. Wait, can I stop? You can stop right now. You get 500 points. So we want to do? I stop. All right. So he goes to 2,900 points. So right now, Whoa. Luke has 2,900. Sean has 7,950. And I have 3,900. Roll up, Sean. Uh, we're all oh, in the okay. hundreds. Uh, yes. Your brother right now is crushing us. He has more points than both of us combined. Oh, uh, I like that. Yes. All right. So, no police. Oh, my goodness. Sean might win this round. He gets a good roll. What you doing, partner? Going for the two light blues. A thousand points if he can complete it. Anything else? What does the light bulb do? Uh, it goes into the, these two that are called electric works. It's from the uh, the board game. You get 800 points if you get them both. But you can't get any houses or hotels on it. So, yeah, they're okay. Yeah. All right. Police coming for you. Not probably the role you're looking for, but it does open up the possibility of completing your reds. You want to go that route. Alright, you stop right now, you get 500 points, or you could keep going. Yeah, I assumed he was doing that. Nothing, but no police. Something, and also no police, which means if you continue to go, you have got that die. But if you stop right now, you will have 2,400 points. He immediately rolls, and immediately gets himself a little bit closer to getting in jail, and a little bit closer to getting rich. I'm done. So he stops right now, which means he's scored 2,200 points plus the 200, so 2,400 points plus that, so 3,400 points, which puts you at 11,350, which means if you get 3,650 more points, you win the game immediately. When that is something you can absolutely get in one turn. All right, so what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Police, no thank you. Broken home. Too true. 
Uh, not not theirs, but mine. Also that again. Five hundred. So that's three thousand five hundred bucks. And sometimes, buddy, this is actually real world right now. Uh, sometimes you have to push your luck. Sometimes in life you realize you're just not going to make it. And I realize that while I should just take this 3,500 points, I'm pushing my luck. Ooh. I'm pressing my luck. And I pressed it. And I got a house. I got a house for pressing my luck. That's a hotel. And I got... That is not a hotel. That is a house. Uh, I also got 1,500 extra points for pressing my luck. So if I stop right now, that is a 6,000 point turn. But your dad's not happy with that. Your dad's not happy. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and I'm going to get another house. Oh, yeah. I'm getting another uh, house. And I'm going to get 400 points right here. Uh, bu, bu, bu. Please don't do that on camera. We've talked about that, okay? All right. So, 3,500, 3,900. I am now going to stop. I Even though I would like to press... Well, how much have I got? So, 1,500 plus 3,500. is 5,000 points. 7,000 points. I got 7,000 points. 400 points, which puts me at 11,300 points. Only 50, po 50 points behind you. I'll take that. I'll take that. 11,300, and just like that, Dad's down by 50. Luke, you're going to need a big turn. You're going to have to make some big plays here. Roll them up. Yeah, man. you got to go hard. You need to get yourself a hotel. That'd be amazing. Yeah, well, yeah or maybe even at night. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. I think most people when they play the game are going to do that anyway. Right here. Roll them up. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Roll them up. One police officer. Okay. You have three trains. Now, here's the thing. I would I would recommend not going for trains. Because even if you get trains, you're only going to get 2,500 points. And you also can't roll this die, which can get you a lot of points. So... Even though you got trains, wouldn't necessarily recommend trains in that situation. He wasn't even going for trains. You going for red? All right, roll it back up. Let's get that red. Start getting this die. You want this dice? Get us a red. Roll all the dice, buddy. I know you don't want to roll the police dice, but we got to roll the police dice. Hopefully you don't get two police. Uh, he got a police. Not what he was looking for. Now, there is one good thing. You actually got both of these right now. So if you put those down, you're going to get 800 points no matter what. It seems like a smart play. Yeah. However, you do not get this die because you only get that when you complete colors. Yeah. So let's take a look here for you real quick. You do have a wild that you can get right there. You also have, so nothing on this die is really going to help you. And there's a red on here. So there is the potential that you can get the red on two of these dice. But there's also the potential that you can get the police officer on this die. Do you want to press your luck or do you want to keep going? Wait, is this two? The only two of them have police officers. So what are you thinking? Good. You're going to stop? So you just got... So I will tell you, by stopping, you've pretty much just guaranteed that you're going to lose the game. You... I'm not stopping! Well, here's why I'm saying that, buddy. You have got... So right now, you are down, both me and Sean, by 8,000 points. It's a lot of points. So yeah. you really kind of have to go pretty hard and at least get a set here, I would recommend. Yeah, man. Because... No! Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. But you kind of had to because Sean and I just have so many points. And that's that's one of the fun parts of the Press Your Luck is that had you gotten like a big hotel turn, you could still have won the game right there. But now it's Sean's turn. Take your turn. And, buddy, it's just a game. We just roll dice, okay? We don't get upset about it, right? Whoa, police. But Sean has completed this one. If you want to just take that 800 points. I would not do that. Well, Sean's in the range. He's in the range of winning the game. He needs 3,650. So that gives you 800 of that. Three, so you need 2,800 more points. So three greens would win you the game. Oh, please, did you have a green? No. Oh, I was going to say, if you did, might be something to think about. Oh, no! What? What you doing, partner? My what number is that? Okay. My suggestion was to be take this wild with the 50 and put it right there. I think that is absolutely a great suggestion because that suggestion wins you the game if you stop. I'm stopping. You should go. You should go, Sean. You should keep pressing. <laughs> so with that, Sean would score 3,500 
plus 800, you would score 4,300 points, which means that would put you at 15,650 points, I think, or something like that. Either way, it's over 15,000, which means you have won the game immediately, which I will say is the one thing I don't like about this game as opposed to, say, zombie dice. In zombie Trigger. dice... In zombie dice, that would trigger the end of the game, yes, which means me and Luke would both have one more turn, and on that turn, we would have to push our luck like crazy hard to try and win, and that's, I think that's just a little bit more fun, Yeah, but... Yeah, Daddy might have won the game if that was an aspect. Well, then in that aspect, you would have to say to yourself, ooh, do I want to just stop now, or do I want to try and get a whole bunch of points? It makes it, I think, a more interesting aspect of the game. But, anywho, that is still Monopoly diced from... Hasbro Gaming. It looks like my break up TV. Be sure to check this one out. If you're enjoying this coverage, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And in the comments below, let me know what's your favorite thing to eat in the morning. Luke, what's your favorite thing to eat in the morning? Uh, Don't say everything. Luke loves breakfast. Toast, <laughs> bacon, and eggs. Toast, bacon, and eggs. What no, about you? what eggs I want is dippy eggs. Dippy eggs. I love dippy eggs. Wait, no, puffy eggs. Puffy eggs, scrambled eggs. All right, what about you, Luke, or Sean? Um, omelet, French toast, bacon. I want to blow your mind for a really fancy breakfast that you can get sometime that I love. It's called steak and eggs. They give you eggs and steak. Uh, well, it's called steak and eggs. I know, but it's so good. Well, I, don't know the caps, but I guess I didn't really need to explain what steak and eggs was. You're like, what? <laughs> steak and eggs? Is steak and eggs? That's, that's insanity. Why did they name it something else? Why did they name it the Cleveland... Sunrise. <laughs> Alright, but as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.